So, part of the build was always to cover the side of the BAC. Um, what I didn't want to do was cover up it completely as it still needs airflow through that to cool it if you're going to run high high power. So, um, yes, yeah, so I folded up some aluminium, some side panels, but what they do is they also add as an air scoop around the controller. As you can see, it's like a turbo cooler. Basically, that'll suck the air in through the sides of the controller, through the moths where they get hot. Um, I've left little gaps at the bottom so I can get in and cool the motor. So we have a little air, air trap all the way around um, the top. I've left flat for now because I will be continuing that up to a nice V point to finish it off and bring it down at the front so it all snugs in nice and tight. But yeah, that's it. Looking pretty good now. It's all coming together. The bigger picture. It's took over a year though, custom making all the parts. But you can see where I was going with it now. Nearly done. It's track drying out nicely. A couple of bridge crossings we've put in. A river ramp. Just put a massive berm in there the other day. A nice big 180 berm that you can fly around, jump off the end onto the river bank. Another bridge we'll put in. Tracks up the top. That over there. What I'm building is a warp wall. It's going to be, um, was it, 1.8 high when I'm finished of a warp wall. Um, that's going to go in the top corner to create, um, when you come round the top berm, another big massive warp wall. Um, there's a couple of big berms up there as well and the track goes all the way through. Pretty cool.